Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me yeah. You made me And what up, what up, what up? What's good with y'all? I know y'all be complaining about this in the comments, but we gotta open the garage door, man. So bear with me on the sound. Yo, that thing is bright. Feel like I'm looking into a, a solar flare right now. What are we getting into today? Today, you guys know that we just picked up this new little toy. This new little toy thing right here. The little schmobby schmobby McDrift trike sickle. So yeah, we're gonna be testing this thing out today. But I'm also about to be testing out some, some new equipment. Remember I told you guys that I'm trying to increase the video quality and I'm gonna need y'all opinion, man. Let me know if y'all think um, the stuff that we're gonna be trying out is making a difference, if y'all can tell. You know, just 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 let me know. We gonna we gonna see. We gonna apply some basic film principles to some stuff. I'm not gonna get super technical with it, but we are gonna be going along those lines and messing around with this video, trying to see if we can increase the quality. So, anywho, I mean, I can't even show you all the parts we got. I gotta go to the mailbox and get them things real quick. Shit, she ain't checked the mailbox in hell long. All right, so here's some of the things we got. This is gonna be a new tripod. This is what we're gonna be trying today. These are gonna be uh, ND filters right here. Then we got more mounts. Got a new cage for the uh, for the camera that I'm gonna be using to put the ND filters on. And then we have this. This is for a 300ZX. This is a, a rack spacer to give you a little bit more angle. I'll budge y'all in on how to get a little bit more angle out of 300ZX because there's something else that goes along with that, but. I'll, I'll explain that in another video, but let's take the parts that we just got and then we're gonna go out here and do some testing on this drift trike. Before we jump on this thing, I know a lot of y'all have been asking like my camera setup, what camera I'm using, and I use different cameras for different applications, but for the most part, I use GoPros. So for this test that we're about to be doing right now, what I'm about to be trying is the ND filters that I showed y'all. So let me turn this camera on. This one right here is the GoPro 7. The old school baby. So look, if you see this right now, I already adjusted the settings. Uh, we're shooting at 60 frames per second. So um, I shut the shutter speed to 120. So you want to do the shutter speed double your frame rate. So you can see right there, I got it uh, uh, 60 frames per second with a shutter speed of 120. But then when you look at this, it looks super bright. So that's where the ND filter comes in handy at. Got an ND filter right here. It literally just slides over the front of it. And then when you look at it now, it doesn't look wild bright. You can actually, you know, see. The cool thing about ND filters is with the ND filter, what an ND filter does, not only does it balance out the lighting to where things don't get super blown out for the highlights, but when you're going, ND filters actually add motion blur. They do a better job at actually showing speed. Like in car footage, you'll be like, damn, I was doing 160 miles per hour. But then when you're looking at things go by, it doesn't give you that natural motion blur because the frame rates are so high and it's just picking up every single pixel. So what the ND filter does is it makes it more natural for the natural eye and it looks like you have that motion blur when things are going by. It, makes, it basically makes it see exactly how you would see things in real life. I'm looking, looking forward to this because then when your boy be doing them in car, the in car footage, when I'm next to somebody, you feel me, and I'm, and I'm gapping them, y'all get the full effect of how fast these cars are actually moving so hopefully these ND filters work how they're supposed to work and we're also gonna be testing out the little the little schmobby schmobby right here I did do a, a couple little things since the last video I had to fix my throttle feel me this thing had got stripped out so 
I basically went through the through the handlebar that way I ain't got to worry about the throttle being able to twist because before it was spinning around but now we we good to go so did that and the carburetor and stuff still needs to be adjusted but I'm not even gonna mess with this car because I have a stage two setup coming for it which is the carburetor the intake the exhaust and I ain't gonna lie one thing I am kind of worried about also could possibly happen is if we go into like the shadow areas hopefully the indie filter doesn't do too much shading on the on the shutter and then we just get dark footage all right so let me show y'all again see it's super bright indie filter bam all right let's crank this thing up and, and get the schmobbing all right so from this point on we're about to be using uh, the gopro 7 with the nd filter and i'm not using an external microphone currently will this thing start yeah battery weak turn the choke on And it died on us. <laughs> oh, that's why it has hella grip. Freaking what's the name started moving? We'll go home and throw that thing back on there tighter. What's up? How you doing? Get a new toy, huh? Yep, playing with it. Brand newer. I don't need no helmet. Okay. This head, this head is hard. I'll, I'll <laughs> some air out of this thing and slide the PVC pipe back over in the middle probably add some more air to this to keep it on there tighter all right let's go take this thing around the block one more time <sighs> Fucking can't wait to get this other carburetor yo
slow thing is hella fun. <laughs> Once I get that carburetor fixed, this thing is gonna be hella fun. This carburetor's on crack right now. Oh yeah. While I'm at it, let me move this thing next to the uh, e brake. Freaking little Kimbo over there beefing with the dogs next door. Like, bruh, chill out. Little mans. There we go. We need a good thumbnail. Alright, so I think I got enough footage to play around with. That way we can compare some of these clips and see if the ND filter did its job and it gave us the actual motion blur that we were looking for. So yeah, man, this thing is gonna be fun. I actually can't wait until we get the rest of the parts for it. Once the rest of the parts come, get this carburetor, or well, get the new carburetor on, get the new jets in, uh, get this thing, you know, fiddle with a little bit, the new header that's supposed to be coming, and maybe pick up two, possibly three horsepower, and just get the response that we're looking for. And I think this little thing is gonna be hella fun. I know Q and his uh, father-in-law talking about, you know, some, some competition. You know, how, you know how me and my homies be, man. We, everything be like, all right, drift competition. Like, it's just, that's just how we are. So uh, I think if enough of us end up getting these little drift trikes and, and setting up stuff, then I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with these little things. So what y'all? It's cracking. Yeah, you, gonna, you, you said you wanna be on the YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah, come say what's up. What's cracking? What you gonna say for the YouTube channel? Subscribe and uh, like. Oh, for sure, give me some. Hey, actually last time, did you ever subscribe last time? Yes. Don't lie, don't be lying. Yeah. This dude tried. He tried I to tried. find you. It's Mike Mike. Mike Mike? Yep, M-I-K-E, then M-Y-K-E. Last time we put in Mike's bike. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's bikes. Hey, if you put Mike on a bike, it'll pop up from my old uh, motorcycle video. Or now you can put in Mike on a trike. Mike on a trike is going to be the new title. You can check that thing out too, little mans. Mike on a bike, Mike on a trike, Mike, Mike, either one of them will pop up. <laughs> little neighborhood kids, that's hella funny. But yeah, um, we're looking to have fun with these trikes, man. Y'all know how I be. If Q stuff end up being fashion minded, I'm going to put some more ingredients in this thing because. I ain't trying to get beat by none of the homies, man. I, I, I be wanting to be the, the fast one out the pack, you feel me? So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little little testing. Maybe some of y'all that are into vlogging probably learned a little something about ND filters. Um, if you need more information, man, just use YouTube like I did. You can just YouTube um, ND filters, GoPro settings, or whatever you feel like you need to uh, do, but there's a lot of information on there. I'm not a professional. I'm telling y'all to, to do the exact same thing that I did. Just do your research and figure out what works. Try it and see if it works for you. But uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna wrap this up. Gotta move these cars around. But Q, man, better be ready, Q, man. My thing be sliding.